Yay! I got Overlord Prior and Krichevskoy. I don't have any quartz left, but it was worth it. I hope there are any more units I want. Archangel Flown? Ugh, I'll have to skip that one. Wait, another collab with Attack on Titan? No way, is that Seda? Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. JC here with another video. Today we'll talk about notable units you may want to roll for. Of course, I will be skipping many units, so if you are interested in someone that didn't appear on this list, that doesn't mean that they are bad, just that I don't consider them as much as a priority as the units on this list. We'll go over all the notable units that have released on JP up until now. Also, remember that the order of release from these units is subject to change in global. Now without further ado, let's start. After the first anniversary event, and all the banners that come with it, the next unit you should try to get is Archangel Flown. She's a staple for most teams thanks to the buff from her abilities and skills, good spells, and the fact that she has a universal SP battery. The only thing that you have to keep an eye on is her any one, which gives a buff to the ally with the highest attack, that means it may not work properly on in teams. Next we got Lamington. He is a self-sufficient monster intellect unit, he is pretty impressive, and it will take about 6 months until he gets power creep, so it's fine if you want to invest on him, but I would advise against it, since his replacement is way much better. Lamington's abilities and skills allow him to reach the int buff cap easily, which translates into devastating attacks. The good thing about him is that you won't need a lot of mega magic boost users, instead you can perk it with critical damage, critical rate and special damage buffers. Supreme Edna is an amazing unit for king teams. Just like all the other badasses, she is very selfish, as most of her abilities and skills focus on increasing her own damage. Similar to Lamington, she increases her own attack by herself, which means she doesn't need as many Mega Braveheart users as other main DPS units. Keeping the trend of huge buffs, Death X is another notable unit you may want. She works just like Lamington and Supreme Edna but with a little bit of Fukaseno added to the mix. She increases her attack each turn, this means she isn't really ideal for raids, but in the future there will be more challenging content where clearing the stage fast isn't as important. When the Makai Kingdom collab arrives, we'll receive the most badass overlord of them all, Sera. He is the Fist unit, his abilities give him a boost to attack, and he has a skill which increases his attack by 100%, I'm pretty sure he will break the meta when he arrives. Immediately after that, JP received the 7 Deadly Sins rerun, which brought with it Tavern Idol Flown. She's a standard healer with mega magic boost and giga heal, but what's really important about her are her abilities and skills. She grants all allies a ton of buffs on different areas with her abilities, and she has a party wide SP regen skill, and with her huge int and good single target S rank attack, she can even work as a sub attacker. After that, we may have a little break before we get the Madoka Magicka collab. Madoka is kind of a jack of all trades, master of none. Her abilities both increase her damage output and support the party, but she's better known for being a supporter thanks to her overheal skill, which procs her SP battery ability for the party and her wide variety of spells. She works best on physical teams, but she can also work for in teams thanks to her mega magic resist break. In that same collet, we receive Magical Girl Laharl, which is not only a great attacker, but also a great supporter, as it increases critical damage of all allies and gives 10 SP each turn. Just like many gorgeous units, she buffs her int quickly, but unlike gorgeous units, she will work well in the future as a supporter thanks to her any 1 and any 5. Future Warrior Planner is another amazing unit that arrived on the second anniversary on JP, 1.5 for us probably. She may not reach attack buff cap as quickly as other units, but just like Zeta, she has an attack and crit damage increase on her abilities, which boosts her damage further beyond, and her single target S rank skill can hit up to 3 additional times with lower power. On that celebration we also get a badass banner, which comes with two great units, Formal Artina and Formal Barbatoris. Formal Artina is similar to Archangel Flown, a great supporter with a wide variety of buffs that can fit into almost any team. Everything on her kit is amazing and really worth your quartz. Even if you don't get her, there's also Formal Balvatoris, who is an amazing DPS with the usual selfish kit from a badass unit, and this time Balvatoris retains one of his best qualities in the form of abilities and skills which recover his HP. Nisa is another noteworthy unit, she has a unique playstyle where you want her to die at least once so she can get the benefits from her any 1, any 7 and her single target S rank skill. 
Supreme Girl Lahal is your typical badass unit with selfish abilities. Her most notable trait is that she is a self-sufficient crit damage dealer. With huge crit buffs coming from her own abilities and skills, she wants to be paired with standard buffers as her attack doesn't increase on its own that much. Love X is the magical monster unit. She doesn't have many buffs like previous units, but what she does have are abilities which increase her damage and give her SP, which is what makes her so powerful. The damage increase she receives goes on top of whatever buffs you can give her. Overlord Rosaline is another great int monster. She doesn't deal as much damage as Love X, but she has good abilities and skills which increase her critical rate and critical damage, and she doesn't struggle for SP thanks to her any 5 after the Lapusil rerun with Overlord Rosaline, JP got a collab with the Witch and the Hundred Knight, and this collab comes with a lot of good units, like Metalia, Overlord Metalia, and Witch Laharl. But most definitely, the best unit you can get from this collab is Rubens. She's a debuffer with buffing abilities, and she also has a party wide overheal skill which provides SP region, critical rate, and critical damage to one ally for two turns. Next is Sapphire Seno. She is an axe supporter which buffs attack and critical damage, and she increases the attack buffs received by the party. Her good abilities and skills further benefit axe equipped characters. The next gorgeous unit is the Great Demon Feast, Lizarotta. She is another Feast Forte unit with an excellent attack. She increases her attack and critical damage when next to a knight unit. She has long lasting buffs and a defense down skill, but her most important trait is her any 5 which allows her to survive killing blows. Last we have Usa and Salia. Both are self-sufficient attackers. Usa is a spear forte unit which works next to a bishop unit, slightly increasing her attack and critical damage with her abilities. Her skills increase her critical rate and speed, and her single target S rank skill deals extra hits just like future warrior planner. Salia is a sword forte unit which works next to a rook unit. She increases her critical damage when she has an attack buff, and she further increases her critical damage with her skills. Her most notable trait is that she has a skill which grants her the berserk status for 3 turns. Both of them are self sufficient, but due to the way their kit works, they need to be further buffed by supporters. Just to finish, Let's talk about what I consider must-haves. These units are either staples, supporters, or too broken to miss, so let's check out who is on my list. And the winners are... Archangel Flown, thanks to her huge buffs and universal SP battery. Seta, thanks to his abilities which increase damage in a different category from buffs. Tavern Idol Flown, for providing good buffs with her abilities while healing the party. Future Warrior Planner, for dealing huge amounts of damage thanks to her skills and abilities. Formal Artina, for providing a wide variety of buffs and working on almost every team. Love X, for having the best critical damage increase ability in the game. Reubens, for having versatility as a supporter and the ability to overheal. Well, that's it guys. If there are other units you consider worth rolling for that I didn't talk about, be sure to leave a comment and mention why you want to roll for them. If you like the video, share, like, subscribe. See ya!